What's good, family? This your boy JB Trap House Boxing, and I'm back again with another one. Uh, this is the Demetrius Andre versus Atlantis Fox post fight review. Uh, uh, first of all, shout out to the LDBC man. Um, I got to give you know credit to both fighters, man. You know it was a it was a, it was a decent fight. Um, I I was expecting Andre to get. Fox out of there by at least round seven, but you know, he didn't do so. He had him hurt in the first round. And, uh, but, you know, uh, I gotta give uh, Fox his credit. You know, he, he, he was more de defensive, uh, responsible than when I thought he was, than I thought he was gonna be in this fight. You know, uh, he, uh, he got hit with that shot. And it was kind of hard for uh, Boo Boo to just, you know, really just get him out of there. You know, even though I thought it was going to be easier for Boo Boo to get him out of there. Uh, due to the fact that Fox likes to, uh, he likes to the, the, the lean on that front foot heavy. You know, he leans forward a lot. Well, he leans forward, period. It ain't no a lot to it. But, uh... You know, at first, you know, he was acting shy and timid because, you know, he didn't want to get countered and get hit with no more of that hot sauce that uh, Andrade hit him with. But then, you know, towards the uh, later rounds, he started pressing the action and started letting his hands go more. And uh, Demetrius Andrade was letting his hands go a little bit more, too. But you could tell that when Fox was letting his hands go more towards the end of the round, Demetrius Andrade wasn't just uh, taking that many risks and chances like that. Uh, they gave Fox a knockdown, but it was clearly it was a slip. You know, that was a bunch of BS. Uh, but I really did want to, you know, uh, Andrade to get, get, get Fox up out of there. Um, Andrade looked pretty good, man. You know, I'm not gonna sit here and say that. Uh, excuse me. I'm not gonna sit there and say that he looked horribly because he didn't knock the guy out. No, that's not the case. Uh, I I'll be discrediting Fox. I gotta give Fox his credit. You know, he made it a little bit more difficult for Andrade, even though he didn't really just have an answer. For Andrade, but uh, he 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 was starting to make it more difficult for Andrade. And uh, if he was if he was able to uh, have an answer for him, then it would have been a different story. But he couldn't he couldn't figure it out. He didn't want to you know get hit by you know too many more of those shots like that. So that's pretty much what the case was. Uh, I hope I hope this victory was you know enough, you know to get Andrade to the bigger to a bigger fight. I don't know what's the, what's next and you know in his itinerary, but you know from my understanding, it would have been better and beneficial beneficial for him to knock out or at least had dropped Atlanta Fox in this fight. But Andrade failed to do so, but. We'll see, man. I mean, I still think he's still decent at 160. Uh, I think Andrade just going to have to... Uh, I can't say because he was letting his hands go. So, I mean, I can't just say, you know, that he's going to have to let his hands go. He's just going to have to uh, box a little bit more effective. I'm going to say that. But... We'll see what's next for Andrade, man. This your boy JB Trap House Boxing, man. I'm out. Shout out to the whole LDBC, man. I'm gone.